In this short video, we'll walk through the process of configuring the HTTP routing mesh, the HRM. Now to do this, we're gonna need a UCP cluster. Well, for this demo, I've got this five node cluster here with three managers and two workers. Well, here we are logged onto UCP and we've got admin privileges. So from the main page, let's go to admin settings here and we'll enable the routing mesh just like this. Now, port 80 is fine for this example, and that literally is it. That is the routing mesh configured and ready to use. But enabling it like we did creates a couple of constructs that we can check for, just to be doubly sure. So if we go to resources and networks here, and this here, UCP HRM network, this is an artifact of the setup we just did. And if we check services as well and system services, this UCP HRM service is also created as part of that setup. So both are present, so we're good to go. So I think the next thing to do is create a couple of services and configure them to use HRM. We'll create one called red and another called white. So we'll go with red first. We'll use this image here. I think let's have 10 replicas and we'll add this here as an argument. Let's see what else. Nothing here. Okay, right, we'll publish it on port 8080. That's just the port that the image is configured to listen on. And we'll make the public side here 5000. Now the public side doesn't really matter anymore. This is an artifact of just the way the UI works. It will actually be available publicly on port 80. All right, well, let's attach it to the UCP HRM network. And on the last page here, we give it this label. Now this label is important, it's what makes the HRM magic happen. And we'll see it in a second. Uh, but last but not least, we'll pass it this environment variable. Now this is just cosmetic, it's going to give us a visual cue that we've hit the right service. We'll see it in a minute. Now that's going to take a minute or two to pull down the image, so let's go ahead and create the white service. Now this is pretty much the same as red, so we're using the same image and arguments and such but we're calling this one white and we're only going to have five replicas. Then if we come here, very similar, yeah, but we're associating it with white.example.com instead of red and we're passing it white as the environment variable. Okay, that should be our two services up and running. Yep, red and white and both connected to the UCP HRM network and both with that com.docker.ucp.mesh.http label. Remember, we associated red with requests to red.example.com and white, white.example.com. Now, obviously in the lab here, I've got name resolution and load balancing set up so that those DNS names resolve to my UCP cluster. Well, let's test it in a web browser. I think let's hit red first. Okay. Right, we know we're hitting red because of this here. That's the environment variable we passed in. And see how we're cranking up to 10 replicas? Well, that's how we configured red. So let's switch over to white. In fact, when we do that, this bit here should change and we should only see five replicas. Let's give it a try. All right, we've got white and only five replicas. So that's the HTTP routing mesh. Two services, both on the same UCP cluster or swarm, both accessible over port 80 thanks to UCP HRM, but both responding to different URLs. Essentially okay, requests arrive to the swarm on port 80 and they hit the UCP HRM system service. Remember, we configured that to listen on port 80. Well, the service inspects the HTTP headers of the request and then thanks to that com.docker.ucp.mesh.http label, it uses that to route requests to red.example.com to the red service and requests to white.example.com to the white service. How good is that? For more information, come and visit us at www.docker.com.